Thank you so much for joining me. This is Whitney with the Yoga Art Space Studio, and today we've got a beautiful yoga nidra meditation on strengthening the solar plexus chakra. I'd like to discuss just a little bit about yoga nidra meditation, this process, this beautiful journey, and with that we'll begin our meditation. And so yoga nidra means yogic sleep. This helps to bring us into the brainwave of sleep while we're still conscious. The brainwave of sleep is the theta brainwave. The theta brainwave is powerful because that's where our subconscious is able to bring up its beliefs, whether these are empowered beliefs or limiting beliefs. And as we're in this conscious state, we're able to help to reprogram some of those limited beliefs to lead us into a space of more possibilities. As we're in this meditation, we'll be laying comfortably on your back, usually. You can do it seated. Usually it's preferred to be laying down, so that way your spine is comfortable. You don't have to use any muscular effort. You want to make sure that your neck and your low back are comfortable. Sometimes placing a bolster under the knees can help that low back be nice and comfortable all throughout the process. All you do for the meditation is simply close the eyes and listen to the sounds of the words that I use throughout. Thinking each word, letting that process through your subconscious without judgment. Because of this, we try to make sure that we stay awake. Occasionally there are times where people drift off to sleep and that's okay too. Trust that you're receiving everything that you are ready for and that is in your highest good today. We try to stay awake to the best that we can, simply listening to the words of the meditation. Part of the meditation is that in the beginning and in the end, we use a sankalpa or a seed intention. The seed intention is an intention of your choice. I like to mention it now so when we get to that part of the meditation, it's not a stressful experience to try to all of a sudden think of what your heart's deepest desire is. Usually we think of a goal that we have in life right now and we distill that goal down to its true essence or the why behind it. So if your goal is losing weight, perhaps the why is because I want to feel healthy. And so then we would create a sankalpa about health. I am the very embodiment of health. Now that's just an example. The meditation is focused on the solar plexus chakra today. And so if you have some sort of an intention naturally that revolves around the ideas of strengthening, um, having your will and your personal power to go do good important things in your life that would fit perfectly naturally with this intention and if not don't worry don't stress about it it will fit just right so find the intention distill it down to its essence and if you need more time simply pause this recording until you're ready to get started As we begin this meditation now, take one last moment to make sure your body's comfortable. Take a moment to do any last adjustments you may need so that, if at all possible, we're able to not move our body for the next hour, more or less. Know that you can move if there's something that's constantly distracting you, but we try to keep the body nice and still. Heading into the meditation now, as we're in the midst of warmer months, the summer, we tend to have some of the hottest days of the whole year. In the systems of Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, and the theory of the five elements, this time of the year has an excess of fire energy. As fire is also the element of the solar plexus chakra, an excess of heat and fire can feed too much energy into the so solar plexus chakra, leading to characteristics such as aggression, 
the need to control others, the need to have the last word, power hunger, manipulation, insomnia, losing temper and hyperactivity. When the solar plexus chakra becomes balanced, we instead start to see characteristics such as warm personalities, exuding confidence, playfulness, spontaneity with life, and personal power to meet goals and challenges of life. The will is balanced. The ego is balanced. The self-esteem is balanced. These people are self-disciplined and are able to meet their life challenges. Physically, their digestive system works properly and metabolism is good. Today's Yoga Nidra meditation will be a very special way to balance the solar plexus chakra, calming the wildfires, calming them down to a perfect balanced state where we can approach the goals in our life with a playful attitude. As we officially begin the Yoga Nidra journey, we start by connecting inward to our Sankalpa. This is the seed intention of our practice today, our heart's deepest desire. Perhaps today, the desire is all about working toward a specific goal in life, about gaining confidence and self-esteem, or about having the energy and metabolism you need to feel good in your life. If you're not sure what your sankalpa should be today, you could choose this example. Daily I feel the fire within, transforming the world around me. Whatever your sankalpa is today, remember that we state it in the present positive tense to remind us that starting right now, this seed is our new way of living and seeing the world. Bring your sankalpa to mind and state it three times mentally now. We will now help the body begin to reach a calm state of being. In order to help the solar plexus chakra know that we are here to support it, we will continuously return to it over and over. Imagine the solar plexus as a glowing orb of yellow light in the solar plexus area of the body, slightly above the belly button. Take a deep breath in and out and see how that breath helps to fan the glow of the orb deep in the belly. I'll begin to name some parts of the body. As each body part is named, imagine a ray of sunlight from the solar plexus travel and it travels illuminating the pathway to that area of the body and back to the center of the body. Much like being nourished in utero from our mother to our belly, now our belly spreads the nourishing warmth to the rest of the body. Mentally, see a ray extending from the solar plexus down to the lower abdominal areas. The pelvis. sacrum, the right part of the hip, the left part of the hip, a ray of light to the right thigh, right knee, right shin, right calf, ankle, 
ankle. Heel. Foot. Big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. Fifth toe. The entire right leg. A ray of light to the left thigh. Left knee. Left shin. Left calf. Ankle. Heel. Foot. Big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. Fifth toe. Entire left leg. A ray of light illuminating and nourishing both legs together. A ray of light to the lower back. Upper back. Rib cage. Heart. Lungs. Right shoulder. Left shoulder. A ray of nourishing light to the right upper arm. Right elbow. Forearm. Wrist. Hand. Thumb. Pointer finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Pinky finger. Entire right arm. A ray of nourishing light to the left upper arm. Left elbow. Forearm. Wrist. Hand. Thumb. Pointer finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Pinky finger.
entire left arm. A ray of light illuminating and nourishing both arms together. A ray of light traveling up the neck, the jaw, the lips, the mouth, the teeth. the tongue, the cheeks, the nose, the right ear, the left ear, all through the scalp, the forehead, the eyebrows, the temples, the outer corners of the eyes, the inner corners of the eyes, the right eye, and the left eye. The entire head A ray of light illuminating and nourishing the entire head. Rays of light around the belly. All around the intestines where we receive nutrients that we need from food. belly feeling healthy and alive. Intestines feeling healthy and alive. Connect back to that glowing orb of yellow light in this area. Feel it alive, pulsing, and breathing. To help feed this energy center, we take deep belly breaths. With every long breath in, the belly noticeably rises. With every breath out, the belly recedes. Feel the solar plexus grow larger with the inhales and slightly smaller with the exhales. larger with the inhales and slightly smaller with the exhales. It's almost as if we are fanning the flames 
making the embers glow with oxygen of the deep inhale. And the embers get slightly dimmer with the long exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let us count down 10 deep belly breaths and notice the color of the glowing. Noticing the glow get more pure with each and every deep belly breath. Inhale, 10. Exhale, 10. Inhale, 9. Exhale, 9. Inhale, 8. Exhale, 8. Inhale, 7. Exhale, 7. Inhale, 6. Exhale, 6. Inhale, 5. Exhale, 5. Inhale, 4. Exhale, 4. Inhale, 3. Exhale, 3. Inhale, 2. Exhale, 2. Inhale, 1. Exhale, 1. Notice how brilliantly bright the solar plexus energy feels now. And just for the pleasure of it, take one more huge breath in and out. Now let yourself be absorbed by what the sensation of brightness feels like. Imagine that every cell of your body had a nightlight and it began to take on a soft yellow glow. At first it's only a few cells but sitting here and breathing, we began to see the entire body take on more and more light. Eventually, it's as if the whole body is simply made out of light. Feel what this brightness feels like 
on as many levels of perception as possible. Now imagine that light was like the glow of a glow stick. And as time goes on, the light slowly fades. Begin to experience the cells of the body getting darker and darker. And darker and darker until eventually all that is left is pure tangible darkness experience darkness on as many levels of perception as possible. For a moment, try to now let yourself experience both darkness and light in every cell of the body at the same time. Darkness and light. How does it feel to every cell of the body to be dark and light? Begin now to experience the sensation of coldness in the body. The campfire is going out and the temperature of the surrounding area is dropping minute by minute. Notice how everything is a little slower when it is cold. Feel the very atoms slowing down in speed. Just for this moment, invite in the sensation of coldness. Now begin to experience what warmth feels like in the body. It's as if the embers of the fire did not completely go out. We put on another log and now everything is feeling fantastically warm again. Putting a pot of water on the campfire quickly leads to it boiling. You take sips of a warm bev beverage and you feel yourself warming from the inside out. Your hands on the cup helps to warm even your fingertips. Experience a deep warmth in the body.
warmth. Try to experience both warmth and coldness in the body at the exact same time. The fingers warm and cold. The body warm and cold. The cells warm and cold. The very breath, warm and cold. Take a deep breath in and out. Letting go of that completely, open yourself now to the idea of ego and self. Imagine your importance growing ever more prominent. Imagine that you are the center of everything. Like a baby, your needs are far more important than those of anyone else. Feel your perception of self growing so large as to exclude all others, except in how they relate to you. Feel the sense of I-ness. You are safe. You are happy. You are provided for. Your life is abundant. Feel what it feels like to be completely covered like this. Now imagine your sense of identity is getting smaller and smaller. It's almost as if the boundary between you and everyone else was dissipating. With every moment, you are realizing that you are connected with everyone and everything. That your very soul and everyone else's are entwined. Feel the good of one and how that supports the good of all naturally. Imagine complete unity And let yourself have the grand opportunity of trying to experience both complete union and complete self 
darkness in the midst of the mind at the same time. How does it feel to have selfness and union in the body? How does it feel to have selfness and union in the emotions? How does it feel to have selfness and union in the socialization process? How does selfness and union feel together? Now begin to imagine that all you wish for yourself is on the series of five steps sitting there at the very top. At each step, you see various objects. You realize that every object means something to the subconscious. So in order to get to the top, you choose to briefly acknowledge the various objects and then move on. In this way, you'll be able to take what you need with you and leave everything else as you progress up the steps. Taking your first step up, you see and acknowledge a beaded bracelet, a snail shell, a carton of ice cream, A pair of earrings, a thimble, a dagger, a key, a board game. a garden spade, and a basketball. Take a deep breath in and out and let it all go. Up to step three, you see a candy bar, a hair clip, a pair of socks, an egg beater, a toy robot, a frying pan, a cell phone, a martini glass, a safety pin, and a toy top. Take a deep breath in and out 
and let it all go. Up to step three, you see a cookie tin, a feather duster, a hairbrush, a few batteries, an ink cartridge, a bottle of sunscreen, a necklace, a kitchen knife, a plush bear, and a wrench. Take a deep breath in and out and let it all go. Up to step four, you see a teacup. a tennis ball, a bottle of water, an egg, a spool of string, A bell, a pair of glasses, a roll of gauze, a hand fan. and an acorn. Take a deep breath in and out and let it all go. Up to step five you see a toothpick, a blow dryer, a toy boat, a lime, a basket, a cork, a music CD, a bandana, a package of glitter, and a bar of soap.
take a deep breath in and out and let it all go. As you release all that is no longer serving you, you take one final step up and you find yourself in the place of all that you wish for. Here you have the perfect amount of power and authority to make sure things get done when they need to. And people here have the perfect balance of working on individual dreams and working on the good of the entire country. All of the community. All of the resources you need are readily available here. All that you need and all that you could dream of is possible. So take a moment or two to look around and see all the possibilities of this place. Watch yourself deciding on what the first and most important thing to do or learn here would be. After a time, someone pokes you on the arm and you know that it is time to return back to your normal life. You've gained several valuable lessons here and you feel like you are vibrating at a higher frequency. In every step you take down the staircase, let yourself review the following qualities of presence you've strongly felt here and now. Step five, feel courageous. Self-assured. Passionate. Proud. Playful, warm, strong, disciplined, helpful. Balanced. Step four, feel courageous, self assured, passionate. Proud. Playful. Warm. Strong. Disciplined. 
disciplined helpful balanced step 3 feel courageous self assured passionate proud playful warm strong Disciplined, helpful, balanced. Step two, feel courageous. Self-assured, passionate, proud, playful, Warm, strong, disciplined, helpful, balanced. Step one, feel courageous, self-assured, passionate, proud. Playful, warm, strong, disciplined, helpful. and balanced. Taking the last step down, you know that you must plant the seed intention because this will assure that you will grow and attain all that you felt was possible today. Bring it to your mind the sankalpa of your practice, the heart's deepest desire, and let yourself state it three times mentally now.
begin to feel yourself back in this present space with your body brilliantly alive. Take a deep breath in and out. And another. Some of us are preparing for a good night's rest after this meditation, and others of us are transitioning into the rest of the day. Wherever you're headed, take some time here to be with your breath, perhaps gradually adding little movements to the fingers, starting to stretch the body out until eventually you are ready to continue on to the rest of your day. I thank you for joining me. May we be filled with light and happiness and peace. Namaste.